Good morning friends welcome to SBI Securities Morning Podcast in today's podcast we would be discussing what to expect in nifty and bank nifty from here on along with the key levels for both the indices uh, we will also be discussing on the key sectors and stocks that we should be focusing for the day and the next few trading sessions uh, post the sharp correction a week ago uh, markets post the fed announcement witnessed a notable recovery with auto defense pharma communication capital goods nbfcs select banks and other consumer durables experiencing decent buying however the recovery was not uh, sector or stock agnostic as it constituents did not experience the same buying pressure that the rest of the markets did bank nifty has also taken support near 100 day ema level and witnessed smart recovery and ended the week with a gain of 0.58% Along with this pullback rally in Indian markets the volatility index India VIX has witnessed sharp decline of nearly 11% and it has given the lowest closing since November 2023 Most noteworthy Nifty mid cap Nifty small cap has witnessed smart recovery and ended the week with a gain of 1.34 and 1.41% respectively Uh, from the macro perspective if we see uh, the dollar index concluded the week at 104.17 level with a gain of 0.95% forming a strong bullish candle on the weekly charts uh, over the weekend it cooled off marginally as did the us 10 year yields as much as 2.5% uh, meanwhile brent crude oil has stabilized at $86 forming a short term swing high at 87.60 declining crude oil is favorable for the indian markets uh, coming to the nifty levels uh, the zone of 22160 22180 will be the immediate hurdle for the index uh, which is also friday's uh, uh, intraday high uh, any sustainable move above the levels of 22180 will lead to sharp upside rally in nifty in that case it is likely to test the levels of 22240 followed by 22300 while on the downside the zone of 21980 22000 20, will act as the crucial support for the index in case the index slips below the levels of 21980 there could be a bit of further selling pressure in the markets uh, coming to the oi data uh, nifty monthly series pcr that is the put call ratio Uh, is currently at 1.23 a meaningful call writing is witnessed across 22100 22000 strike 22200 strike that is while on the put side if you see uh, writing is seen in 22000 and 21900 strike the overall range for the intraday based on the oi data could be 21980 on the downside and 22180 on the upside uh coming to bank nifty uh, 47000 47050 uh, will act as the crucial resistance for the index uh, which it has failed to surpass in the past two trading sessions any sustainable move above the levels of 47050 will lead to a sharp rally in bank nifty up to the levels of 47250 47400 on the upside while on the downside the zone of 46650 46700 will act as the crucial support for the index If the index slips below 46650 it could witness a correction of 46 towards 46300 350 levels in intraday trade Coming to the OI data for Bank Nifty so Bank Nifty PCR for the monthly series is currently at 1.08 significant call writing was seen at 46900 47000 strikes and on the put side it was majorly seen in 46500 46, 46700 strikes so implying the range of 46650 on the downside and 47050 on the upside uh, looking at the stocks and sectors in momentum uh, from the broader market um, the counters such as torrent power jsw energy oberoi reality jindal steel dixon cumens india hero motor corp maruti apollo hospital sun pharma sipla bajaj auto titan aisha motors hindalco policy bazaar looks good based on technical parameters as well as on the relative strength chart Uh, coming to the FII DI data in the cash market FII sold to the tune of 2599 crores while DI has countered them and bought to the tune of 2667 crores 
FII long short ratio for index futures is at 34.59 on a net basis. This as they bought 12,761 index futures. On the stock futures front, FIS has sold to the tune of 17,759 contracts. While on the options front, FIS bought 46,354 call contracts and purchased 71,127 put option contracts. So friends, that's all for today. Thank you for regularly listening to our podcast and wishing you all an energetic day ahead. Do tune in tomorrow for more market updates and insights. Thank you. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.